Hi friend, it's March 24 already and I started my 30 days app challenge basically to build and release application in the app store with plan to have that project finished at March 28 and my application is not even in the first round of review in the app store so I have to hurry up you know. <laughs> I spent the morning working on final touches and now I need icon to submit it to the app store. I will use Midjourney bot, I added it to my Discord channel and I created quite a few icons, different types. I can't say I love any of them, but nah, they are decent for MVP, let's say so, good enough to release application in the app store. After morning session working on my own application, of course I am jumping on the freelancing at, at the evening I am going to the downtown to meet my wife and go to the spa hotel to spend weekend there, but I hope to have a few hours to work on my app as well. Lunch break should be about enough to, to have time to stay in traffic, drive my daughter to the train station and switch from home office to the hotel. So, we'll see. I am estimating that will be about an hour. Okay, it's about time for session two of work today. After the lunch break, I spent about one and a half or two hours on my freelance project for Firebase research and other work stuff. After that, I was done with work tasks and it was already time to wrap up working on freelance project and I switched to my own application. All the development was already done and we already have icon for the app, but to release application in the App Store, I need app description, hashtags for search, also I need to update app name. I asked ChatGPT to generate app description and I have to say that I got quite good result. App description in the App Store is mostly for users, it is not used for search optimization and so on. For Google Play, I would like to try to improve keyword density for uh, for search optimization but for app store it is not so important so i modified a bit chat gpt version but generally just copy pasted whatever i got in the app description no keywords if you are planning to use chat gpt for that try different prompts try to ask different questions you will have different results and yeah play with that around until application is not in the app store you can't really play around with any app store optimization tools but as soon as app will be released in the app store i will use app store optimization tools i'm using astro app to track keywords for my application so i will use this tool for this application as well app figures has app store keyword list optimizer basically you can copy paste your keywords and you will get optimized version if you have duplications, those will be removed, stuff like that, you know. Original name for the app that I had before removing it from the App Store was way too long. Currently, you can't have so long app name, so I had to change it. App name and subtitle, those are most important for App Store optimization. Basically, you want to have all your most important keywords in the subtitle and name. So I would like to have this workout, timer, crossfit, ward, arm wrap, rounds, those words are important. Hopefully App Store will take a look on this app overnight and we will get it approved or rejected. The next day. Still waiting for review, it's morning next day and still nothing. Hopefully Apple review team will have time to take a look on the application today, but until then we're going out. Here is Central Market. If you are visiting Latvia, highly recommend to visit it. Those four hangars are uh, from, those were for settling parking during World War One, something like that. So interesting place, highly recommend. To get some work done while you are traveling or, I don't know, spending time in hotels, that helps a lot if you are sleeping less than your partner. <laughs> okay, let's go outside.
regards, that is a Russian embassy behind me. Of course, we have Ukraine flags around, more flags there, and destroy a Russian tank in front of the embassy. We just love good jokes, you know. And yeah, that was that one as well. Funny. And its street now is renamed to the street of Ukraine freedom. I expected to hear back from the Apple review team anytime soon on the next day and I was checking App Store Connect application time to time but nothing happened and yeah that was fine. My wife has birthday on the last week so we just pretended that we are tourists in our own hometown. Weather was nice, we just walking around, sitting in the coffee shops, we was in that spa, also late brunch with family, all that stuff you know. And I didn't hear back from the Apple review team until late Sunday night when I was already back to the home and yeah that was rejection. <laughs> app was rejected and reason for the app rejection was as Apple wrote kind of misunderstanding or not clear enough metadata and I can agree with Apple review team because original app name was very long and I had to change it to fit current requirements for app name and after all the changes on the Apple watch and in iPhone app name started with rounds but in the app store description or app store name rounds wasn't in the name it was in subtitle so i changed all of that using the same words just replaced those little bit resubmitted to the app store and on the monday morning i found that application is not rejected anymore but it is again removed from the app store by developer basically i expected that it will be put back automatically but yeah it was just reviewed approved for update and i had to go into the app settings and enable it for downloads in all the app stores. And now I can track my keywords in the Astro app so I can start do app store optimization. I need to monetize application and I have to start to do some marketing for the application. And I, I'm planning to use chatbot GPT for that as well. We'll see, I will ask ChatGPT to suggest me what to do for monetization and how to do marketing. I'm very curious to see what Chad GPT will suggest me to do and I will just follow and will do what robots will say me to do. So <laughs> that will be fun experiment. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye everyone. Like if you like the video. See you on next one.